Hi, and welcome back to the Clean Slate Network. Derek Hickson here once again. I want to talk to you this time about a couple of things we've been hearing um, about members on our slate only having three years experience. Uh, in the union, that is. But that's not total experience. So let me explain. First of all, before I get into that, I want everyone to understand the position or the reason for a trustee, what the position does. A trustee is um, a checks and balances position. The trustees are there on behalf of the members to keep an eye on the administration to make sure the administration is doing their job. Okay? That's how we want trustees to operate in our system. The way they currently operate is it is a fast track to being a VA. That in itself is a conflict of interest. Okay? You cannot, that's that's like the letting the wolf into the hen house. All right. The way it's work, it's been working is uh, uh, shop stewards are appointed. They're supposed to be voted and they can be appointed according to the bylaws, but it technically should be a vote uh, of their peers. But shop stewards are appointed. Then they're promised a trustee position if they do good as a shop steward. Then as a trustee, they're promised a BA position if they do good as a trustee. So let me ask you this. If you are a shop steward and you are promised a trustee position if you do a good job, is your primary responsibility going to be to make sure the members are represented or that the administration is represented? If you are a trustee and you are promised a BA position, do you think that your primary responsibility would be to keep an eye on what the members need or to do what the administration needs. Think about that for a second. It's a conflict of interest for a trustee. I'm not saying it shouldn't happen or it should never happen. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying with the current administration, that is how it's happening predominantly. Uh, basically, they're filling their team with yes men. Nobody ever stands up. There's no checks or balances system. I want you to know that part of the trustee's responsibility is to sign off on a quarterly basis of the financials, okay? That's going to be very important when we get to the LM2 reports that we're going to share with you. But I want you to understand, if you're a trustee and you are promised a BA position and the administration comes to you and says, listen, we're spending money on this. We really need this. Well, just sign off on it because it's, 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 we really, it's going to make a difference. Um, are you going to side with the members or are you going to side with the administration because you really want a BA position? It puts members in a precarious position. And that's kind of, uh, again, goes back to how we want to change the culture of things. So let's talk about our two slate members that have three years experience. Number one, Tracy Burns. Tracy Burns has a 35 plus year career in management. She was uh, spent 10 years in local 770 that's, as a teamster. That's a teamster union in the grocery industry. She's been everything from, uh, from head of sales and market. I mean, she's held every position that you can in a corporation. She broke out on her own, uh, built her own business and then sold it to a major distributor. That major distributor, when they bought the company, asked her to stay on as uh, a sales and marketing manager. She did so, she's had experience in human resources, she's had experience in, in, um, in uh, labor relations, and in today's world, every studio has a labor, labor relations department, and now these production, uh, Apple and Amazon, it's all corporate structures have labor relations departments, and her experience is vital in getting to understand the mentality of where labor relations is coming from and that corporate mentality that, that you and I aren't used to dealing with because we're out on set all day. The second member that only has three years of experience is Alfred Fatui. Alfred Fatui is a young man who's very indicative of our younger members. He's 31 years old, he's married, he's got two kids. This is a gentleman who wants to make this a career. This is a gentleman who is absolutely counting on making a good living to put his kids through college and to have a retirement. Alfred Fertui is a, is a veteran. He was a member of armed services and uh, the Army. He was a, a specialist and enlisted as a forward observer. He spent a tour in Afghanistan 14 months. He comes back and he, and he starts driving truck and he gets into the union. The reason we picked the people we picked on our slate is because we wanted to establish a broad demographics. We wanted to be connected with the younger and newer members uh, with an Alfred Fertui. Alfred speaks fluid Spanish. His father's first generation Polynesian. His mother is El Salvadorian and he speaks um, uh, fluid Spanish. She is. Uh, she became uh, a US citizen just for the record before she got married, did it the correct way, the way you're supposed to do it, and he is very proud of that fact. Um, Tracy has invaluable experience as well as the rest of the slate. So I understand uh, the scrutiny, and I understand people are making decisions without seeing their bios, 
But the bios are up on the website. Go take a look, 399cleanslate.com. Study these people now that you know their backgrounds and what they can offer, okay? And let's just all be on the same page about what a trustee does, what their role is, what their job is, and how this slate was all put together. Just wanted to clear that up. I thank you for your time. On behalf of the Clean Slate, my name is Derek Hickson.